Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to add textures in Blender. So there's actually an easy way for us to add textures in Blender. So for this example, we'll be adding texture on this cube here. Now to get us started, the first thing that you have to do here is you want to locate this icon here, which is the material properties. So just click on that. Now from here, as you can see, the setting here that's for base color so when, whenever we change this one it's actually going to change the color of that cube so in this section here we'll be adding our textures so just click on the color or the yellow here just click on that and instead of color we want to use image texture here so once you click on that it's going to give us this ui here so if you already have your textures on hand already let's just go ahead and click on open now the next thing you want to do here is you want to locate your texture so for this example i already have my texture here or i have a texture that i want to use here so for example we want to use this one and just click on open image so at first you won't be seeing anything because right now it's still in the uh solid mode here so we want to have a preview of our material just click on this one and you'll be able to see a material preview of your uh, object here so as you can see it kind of looks uh, funky right now because we haven't actually organized it yet so this is just the default look to it so it's going to automatically apply that image into that specific object now how do we edit this one so first thing is we want to separate our view here so at the top left of your screen, your cursor should be able to change into like a plus uh, icon here. So once it actually changed to that, you want to press and hold on your left mouse uh, uh, button. And from here, you want to drag it into the center of your screen here. As you can see, my screen is now duplicated. So first thing is we want to go to the screen here and we want to change this to uv editing editing so in here we'll be able to see a section of the squares of our cube here so uh, we ha now have the preview for it so here again it's going to uh, change again to solid so we want to change this to material preview just click on that and we'll be able to see that so as you can see you see like squares here or the faces of your object and this is the material itself so everything that is under this grayish color here or under the objects here or the faces that's everything it's that's being shown within your object here so whenever you actually change your orientation here or your scale it's going to change dynamically here at the right side so let's say we want to scale this down as you can see it's changing uh live here on the right side of our screen and yeah so if you want to rotate this you could go ahead and rotate it rotate it again and here so just click on your left mouse and it's going to apply that now what if we want to actually show this material on each faces so what you need to do is you want to go to the section here and in here you want to make sure that you actually select everything in here so make sure that you highlight all of your vertices here just press on hold on your shift and highlight everything now in here next thing you want to do is you want to press on U on your keyboard and you'll be able to see the UV mapping here. So in UV mapping, we have different options to use. So we have smart UV, UV project here as well as cube projection as well. So if you want to use cube projection, let's just choose this one. And as you can see, it's going to basically show every face of our cube here in one image. So basically all of the cubes is showing one image. So yeah if you change this one like for example press on g you'll be you'll be able to move this one it's going to automatically be selected but if you want to change this in another way because most of the time like i'm going to select this one so if you select a specific phase here so let's just change our options here so instead of just one vertex we're going to change the select mode for phases so let's just click on something empty here and just click on this face here. So once you've selected that face, we want to move this one. 
So as you can see, that face would actually uh, be like, for example, here. As you can see right now, that face would actually uh, be the only one being changed here. So if you want to again change another face, just highlight that one, and you'll be you'll be able to change that one. So I just change this one and highlight this as well and just press on G and you'll be able to change the view for that specific face. Now, this is actually really helpful if you're building like a dice maybe, but it's not uh, actually recommended. But if you really want to use this, you could go ahead. But what I would recommend you to use is the other setting here. So let's just revert things here. So in here, what you need to do is again, we want to highlight everything in here. And what you need to do is you want to press on U on your keyboard again. And in here, instead of using Q projection, we want to use Smart UV Project. So when you click on that, you want to just click on OK and it's going to apply it. So instead of just cubes over on cubes here or squares over in squares, it's going to give you an appropriate kind of setup here. So in here, instead of the cubes or squares and in a way that each square here would be actually connected on each square. So in here, we'll be able to customize where, what, in what part of that specific square, what we want to show. So in here, as you can see, I was able to move this square here without affecting the other squares here. So if you want to do this, the same thing, just need to move this one, press on G. And also, if you want to resize this one, you could go ahead and you could even rotate it if you want. So press R to rotate. As you can see, it's going to change here dynamically. And yeah, and that's basically how you add textures to Blender. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.